going off the rails on a crazy train, sir. Welcome back to our Sweet Justice videos. We're going to talk a little bit about the per peripheral nervous system and the structure of the spinal nerves. So we have this cross section here, uh, transverse cut, where you can see the actual vertebra, the spine bone, right? You can see the body of the spine is here. You can see you have your transverse processy, processes over here. There's This one's missing, I don't know why. And then you have your facets, all the stuff that we talked about in Anatomy 1, right? But now we're adding the, the actual um, spinal cord with the nerves coming off. So we're going to talk a little bit about it. On this page here we have, uh, we're going to start with the dorsal root and the ventral root and kind of what that entails there. So dorsal we know is going to be the posterior side, which would be this side because you have this spinous process here. So we're looking at this side here being your dorsal root. Okay. Sorry, I don't have different colors, but I'll mark this here for you. Dorsal root. Okay. Basically what that entails is uh, sensory information passes through this section. So only sensory information. Um, the Basically, when you receive sensory information from one of your senses, it's going to be received through the dorsal root. And any response to that is going to be found in the ventral root. We know ventral. Ventral is going to be this anterior section here. So this is going to be your ventral root. There we are. You can kind of see that. Uh, all of your motor information will be received uh, or be directed through here. Uh, we're shaking because we're on a crazy train. Uh, if you haven't seen that movie, I suggest you see it. The movie I'm referring to is Megamind. Probably one of the greatest animations of our time. Uh, again, shakiness. Calm, calm. Camera, calm. Okay. The spinal nerve trunk is where these two dorsal roots and ventral roots, where they're going to meet together. This is where you're going to be calling the spinal nerve trunk. At this point, your nerves are going to separate, uh, whether it's going to be sensory or motor information, going to be separating into your dorsal or your ventral root. Um, and then Basically, you have nerves traveling to the dorsal side of your body, which would be the dorsal ramus, and ramus just means arm. And then you have the ventral ramus. Uh, dorsal is just going, you can see here, if you had these um, back muscles where they'd be located these nerves are going to be touching to these muscles back back through here these are like the spinal extensors and then these nerves go off and they help uh, innervate the skin and then everything else here is through the ventral ramus is going to be um, innervating basically everything else in your body wall and then and in this specific picture that I'm going to show you right here, uh, I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. You can see the diaphragm here, this big chunky section. If this was the cross section of your body, you're cutting about at the diaphragm. Now you can see if you were to zoom in really closely, that you have your dorsal roots and your 
ventral roots and they converge this spinal nerve trunk and you have your uh, dorsal ramus and your ventral ramus and you can see how extensive the ventral nerves are going they're going all over the place they're going in the front of your body this would be your sternum right here this is the back of your body right so they go up through here around the sides going through all the muscles uh, and receiving all that in input there so that's a quick video on that and i hope to see you in the next one